Today has been a bit of a unique start to the day. Laura woke up to a very unfortunate text message. Uh, she's lost a very close family member. You guys have met him along the way if you've been watching the vlog for a while. Uh, Disney, her very, very large cat, unfortunately was put down last night. Um, he's been sick for the past couple of days and so, of course, it's never easy losing a family member and so Laura's feeling a little bit somber today. He lived a full life and Disney, you will be missed. She says he didn't live a full life, he lived halfway through. I should mention the sad news, so like, yeah, it sucks, but uh, just try not to think about it. Checking in. Checking in. Hi, P. Thank you. So the, the drinks just went from blue to purple when he like put something in it. So we've just arrived at Siam at Siam. That's what it's called. It's a design hotel here in Pattaya. It's definitely the funkiest of the rooms we've had. It's a big bathtub. Got a big bathtub. And what we got in here? Some fancy lady. Welcome to Pattaya, about two hours, two and a half hours down from Bangkok. We're only here for one night. We're leaving first thing in the morning to bring you guys somewhere a little more tropical, but this is something that I'm excited to explore a little bit. So this is just the side street next to the hotel. We're gonna walk down to the beach. I forgot my sunglasses. Frogger style, let's go Laura. Make your way through traffic. We pressed the pedestrian signal, but it like wasn't doing anything, and I don't think it's probably ever working. Oh, tattoos! Yeah. I've already got one. Oh, coconut. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, palm tree. It's a palm tree. <laughs> Thank you. Do. This is the beach in Pattaya. As you can see, Pattaya is very densely crowded with high-rises, hotels, uh, resorts. It's a really popular tourist town. Some of the biggest attractions in Pattaya are things like water parks and Ripley's Believe It or Not show. So it is definitely teetering on the very touristy end. We're gonna go to what's known as the Sanctuary of Truth. There's my amigo. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I feel refreshed. I just got some. McDonald's water, not sponsored. Laura, yeah. how close are you to being a child? You think we could pass? It's good to see they've gotten more lenient over the years. It's like, yeah, you can't wear that. You can't wear that. You can't, oh wait, never mind. That's okay. It's okay. Shorts are okay. It's okay. Okay, so I'm a little concerned because back there is a giant gray wall of oncoming rain. And uh, we just paid 500 baht per person. And I don't mind that, but I'm not gonna be happy if we get there as soon as it starts to pour. So, I'm gonna get some shots. It looks like a beautiful temple. Not like shot shots, like, look at all those chickens. So I was just saying, Christian should add this in his video, that if you're a girl, the easiest thing to do is just bring two sarongs. One you can put on your shoulders, and then one you can put on your shorts, because in this kind of heat, it's the best option, other than having to put on like a sweater and like long pants. The reason you have to do this is out of respect, so women have to have their shoulders and knees covered. So right over there, they were just blasting Biggie. Welcome to the Sanctuary of Truth, y'all. Look at that golden tree of truth. All right, so you gotta go down here to get to the temple. Watch your step. Oh my gosh, where are my legs? Just kidding, is this a joke? Why do you need a helmet? <laughs> so we're here during construction. That's so funny. Okay, Cap. We've just been given our hard hats to come into the temple. That's when you know it's real. Oh, we won't let a little hard hat and construction oh, get the in the way out. of our enjoyment. Might... This could be bad. <laughs> Uh-oh, the rain's coming. Oh my good heavens, Gary. Look what you've done with yourself. You're looking wonderful these days, Gary. Hello. Oh my, you're beautiful, aren't you? 
You're a looker. Girls at Coachella be like, Larry, Jerry. This is not like a bit of renovations. This is like, we're rebuilding the temple right now, but come on in. I can hear thunder. Uh-oh. This could be problematic. Laura looking good? We're gonna be stranded here. There's definitely no leaving now. Uh, we're about to be completely surrounded by rain clouds, thunder, lightning, explosions, tornadoes, all the above. Uh, but this is a pretty cool place to be if you're gonna be stuck in a storm. So it seems to be a common theme in Buddhist temples that the center point of the temple is the holiest and that's where they have like a bit of a raised little area and there's a sign that says you can't wear your shoes there. I've been to one in Myanmar where it actually said you're not allowed to be in here if you're a woman and you're during you're here during your period, during your, I guess is that a, called a gestation period? Your period? No, it's just called a menstrual cycle. If you're here, anyways, if you're on your period <laughs> and you... you <laughs> Definitely one of the coolest, if not the coolest temple I've ever seen. I really love how it's just all wood. You can see how much detail has been put into the carvings here. It's not like separate carvings. Like this looks like one giant cohesive piece of wood. Crazy the amount of work that has gone into this. This is something that I love about Thailand is the architecture. They have such a diverse and unique look. There's not many countries that stand out as like being totally different, but I'd say, you know, Japan is one of them and Thailand is another where I've seen that they just do things in a completely different way than the rest of the world. And uh, I think one of the ways they show it is the architecture here. It's truly one of a kind. <laughs> Hey, why did you cross the road? So right now we're doing a live stream. Guys, make sure you follow me on Instagram. This is where I do all my live work here. It's on the, on the IG. on the vlog. Check out that temple. Why did you guys cross the road? No, those aren't chickens. Those are definitely like, uh, they're mini ostriches. We'll be at this like location. Oh my gosh, look at all these things. So just next to the temple, they've got a mini zoo with all these little mini ostriches. Where are you guys going? What's up, homies? No, I'm not joking. That was that's Bambi. Come with me to the islands. I'll show you a better life. All right, guys. So we have just gotten back. We took an Uber back to our hotel. We're at Siam at Siam. This massive blue tower and uh, now we're going to show you something I'm pretty excited to check out for myself. Uh, this has one of the tallest infinity pools in all of Thailand. We're still on the live stream right now. Wow. Still pretty cool. Hello. Hello. Where'd he go? Hello. Hello. It's actually kind of cool that the storm's rolling in and we get to see it from here. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine, it's on again, off again, on again, watch me fall like dominoes in pretty patterns. So this is our movie theater right now. That window right there, you'll see lightning striking down. We're from Vancouver and we don't have enough humidity to get thunderstorms. So whenever we get them, I get so excited. Like I grew up in the east coast of Canada where in the certain parts of the year you'd get thunderstorms and I just love it. I love being surrounded by chaos and like feeling nestled up. That's what I have right now going on. It's pretty awesome. I got myself a strawberry thief. What? It's called the strawberry thief. Who'd you steal it from? has been a really short day in Pattaya, but I hope we gave you a bit of a snippet of what it has to offer. One thing that we're neglecting is the nightlife. Pattaya is a great place to go out. It can also be a bit of a sketchy place to go out. This is definitely a city with a bit of a dark side. If you go out into certain areas, you will find 
tons of prostitution. Now, this is also a massive city and there's a lot to see, a lot to do. You can certainly go out in Pattaya and have a great time and not have to deal with that side of things. In any case, I always recommend you do a little bit of your own research before coming to a place and I think you can have a great time anywhere you go. We've definitely had a great day here in Pattaya and I'm gonna end the vlog here. Without further ado, let's get lost again tomorrow.